Hi Potters, welcome to the video today. We're going to talk about wedging and uh, the first thing you got to do when you start handling the clay and working with it, you've got to wedge it. It's just like kneading clay. There's a couple reasons why you wedge it. One reason is it helps to get the air out of the clay if there is any. Um, so by wedging you remove clay. Secondly, it aligns the clay molecules and the clay begins more to become more flexible and easier to use and easier for you to control. And the third is, it's telling the clay that you are in control of the clay, that you're the one in command, not the clay in command of you. So remember that as you're throwing and making pots, that you're the one in command, not the clay. So here's what we do. We take the clay, we initially cut it off, and we take it out of the bag, such as this, in this case, it comes in a bag, and you cut it off. This is a wire. If we could get a nice tight shot of that. This is a wire on, a, on here. And just cut off a piece of that with the wire. I'll do it once again. Just cut it right off like that. Then, we're going to try to measure out a pound and a half for this. Put it on the scale. And in this case, it weighs two and three quarter pounds, so it's a little heavy. So instead of taking it off the scale and on the scale, leave it on the scale and just begin to cut down until it fits. We're at a pound, almost two pounds. Cut off another little bit. There, we're at a pound and a half. So that's the right amount that we want to, we want to start with. With this, put this back, and well, I'll use this one. Then wrap up the clay. You know, sometimes you'll get the clay, if not in a bag, it'll come, in our case, in our studio, it'll be sitting on the table. It'll been, it's a recycled clay, it's been pugged, it's ready to go, it's sitting here, just waiting for you to go ahead and do it. So you can use that, put it on the scale, and go ahead and cut it. So now we're going to wedge. So the first thing to do. Get the ball into a, the clay into a ball like this. This is what I do. Then put it on the table. And you're going to grab it, not grab it, but you're going to hold on to it with the heels of your hands on the sides of the clay. Don't get your hands way up in here, but on the sides of the clay like this. And let it rock right in there. Then we're, the first move we do is a downward move with the heels of the hand right here pushing into it. And you use about like one pound of pressure, very little, not three pounds like that. You don't want to smoosh and smash that. It's about one pound of pressure, just a little pressure to put it into there. Then rock it back between your hands. So I'll do that again. You go down and you go up once again down, right there, up, down, up, you want to get this kind of a rocking feeling, just like this, and see the face beginning to fa come to happen down here, and the ram's horn, let's do some more. So as this develops, these horns are going to start moving out to the side, so what we're going to do is add another movement to this, so it's down, up, in, down, up, in. So you just push the, the horns in using the sides of the hand. Down, up, in. Down, up, in. If you say this little mantra enough times, it'll happen automatically. Look at our nice face. That's what you want is these rolls of clay, the kind of the eyes and the nose beginning to happen here. I'll move quicker. See? Then, after you've done this about 30 times, it should be prepared. You're now in command of it. The clay knows it. The world knows it. Here's the last step we do. After about the 30th one, roll it up this way. Just roll it up into a little cylinder. Don't, let, don't roll it hard so it stretches out, but just kind of like this. Grab it with your right hand, put it down, pat it into a little volcano little mountain like that and then finally kind of give it a roundness so that this bottom part is 
round it off. So the more round that you get, especially along the bottom, bring those bottom in. I've, sometimes we start patting this thing and we pat it in the top part, but all of this is still out in the air. You want this all in so that the base of your mountain is in and tight. And you're ready to go. It'll make centering a lot easier and a lot more fun. So wedging.